The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 16th of August. And I just need to go through this right away because it's Technical Friday. Um, in the E-mini, uh, what we were looking at, and I mentioned in the den that we made a peak e at about 3 o'clock in the E-mini S&P uh, at about in the 5580s. And then the 9 period moving average turned negative, and it came down, and I had the target was the 5544 200-period exponential moving average in the 10-minute chart. When it went there, held, stuck around for four bars going under it, and then the fifth bar had a green candle, and then it started to move much higher. Then I also said if if in that uh, 5542 area, if perhaps you were long because of the nine-period moving average crossed positive in the one-minute chart, um, Let's look at it. So then what happened is I said, let's wait for the uh, green five-minute chart. This is when I was doing Tommy's show in this hour, 9 o'clock to 10. I just want to show you this because it's Technical Friday, <clears throat> and I needed to explain something I typed in here, which said, Chapman Wave Phantom Peak B. Now, <clears throat> when the five-minute chart crossed positive, <clears throat> it said, now there's a chance that the 200-period moving average of the five-minute chart of 55.61 <clears throat> could be tackled. How it handles it is going to be very important because we went to the uh, one minute to uh, one minute charts two hundred period moving average. Look what happened. We went for we went uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eight nine twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty five minutes twenty six minute it breaks away. It held it held almost every one of the bars in those twenty six minutes touched the two hundred period moving average and then it took off. <clears throat> so that's gone to a peak D. But what I said is, in the futures, when I have two parallel highs, especially when I get two, one after the other, I take one of them and I ch change the color and I make it a peak, even though it's not a peak. I make it a peak, in this case, a peak, phantom peak B. What very often happens is, <clears throat> and what it does is, if I didn't do that, then when you get to that peak D, which is with this phantom peak, it would have been officially a peak C very often. That's where you get a very big pullback. Yeah, you are waiting for the Chapman Wave 4th D in a buy mode. It doesn't come. This way you're prepared. You can raise your stops. You can do a bunch of things. But invariably, not every time, but a lot of the time, <clears throat> the price then goes to a real D. So let's do that. So this is the Phantom D, right? This is the Phantom D right here. There's the real D. And now we've got to deal with something a little different and I always keep that in to say, hey, you use a phantom P, a peak B there using your methodology. Now, this 200 period moving average of 5561 is becoming even more important because like the uh, one minute, it might take a little time before it can build support or it breaks down from this D. This is only a single leg A to the upside in the 10 minute chart. All right. I wanted to go through that. And that just says 5555 would be the 200 period rising, 200 period moving average support. And then you start to look at what's on the upside. Well, we've broken the left side high that I'd be looking at in this 10 minute chart. That would be at 710 this morning <clears throat> at 55, 65.25. We haven't closed above it. Well, we are just fractionally above it right now. But we need to close sharply above it to say, OK, we've that, left that alone. I don't want to do this by saying, oh, my God, then the next move would be the high that was made at 5.30 this morning of 50, 55.76.50. Is this going to be a two-click Chapman wave uh, one of those days <clears throat> where you get a click at the low between somewhere between 6.30 in the morning and 8.30, and then that's it. It just goes high. It did that yesterday, and then it just goes higher and higher and higher all the way into the close. I don't know. All I can say is you follow the rules and see what happens. I have upside uh, levels that I'm looking at that are resistance, but now you've got to digest this gain. Peak D in the daily, so in the one-minute chart, peak D in the five-minute chart, 
only a leg A. Is it going to be a peak A Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down move in the uh, 10 minute? We don't know. So far, the MACD is good. The nine period moving average is over the 14. The uh, stochastic is at 78, 78%. I prefer over 80%. On balance volume is a tad overbought. Everything so far says very good action thus far today. The day is young. All right, let's get to our story. So in the uh, SMHs, <clears throat> we're only down 17 cents at 246.23. The 200.49 low that was made on the 5th of August, coming all the way to 83 points from the high of 283.07 back on the 11th of uh, July. <clears throat> has seen a very nice, now this is where I'd like to put in some FIB numbers. Let's just go there. <clears throat> Okay, so I don't go from the bottom up, I go from the top down. Need to just check that I've got them accurate. No, I have not. Move it up just a tad. There it is. Okay, and down just a fraction. Good. Okay, and that says uh, we're right in the middle of uh, FIB numbers. So the next level would be right here. If, it, if, if today, and it's a big ask, because that was, that was a huge move up from the 200.49 low to yesterday's high of two, oh, I just did something wrong, of yesterday's high of 247.34. Uh, so far, the high today is only 246.28. We still got a way to go. But in the meantime, you've got the day is young. At this point, for the first time since it broke down back around about the 15th of July, the nine period moving average has flipped to green. As I say, it's a daily chart. I have to wait for the close to say, is it really there? When I do my um, um, overview for my subscribers to my opening call uh, later today, hopefully it's today, maybe it'll be tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll see where it closes. But so far, it's flipped to an L. And if you're looking at the weekly chart, it has not gone negative, even with that very sharp slide down. That's usually like a springboard that says, whoa, we could have a nice move to the upside. And that's what we've got. And the monthly chart is still only in a leg D. It'll be a peak D if this month it is no high above 283.07. All right, so we've done that. Now I need to do a couple of things. Um, and now because I did that, went to the futures, I'm a little confused. Have I skipped? I'll just do it quickly. So the uh, Dow, nine period moving average yesterday flipped positive. That's a really good sign. And now we can see whether or not there's a chance to break above this chapter with inside track right there, declining trend lines, resistance. And that'll say if there's a move next week above 40 point, if it can get out of the 40,900s and go back into the 41,000s, break that millennial level. Um, that's going to be important. Uh, and that will take you to the next level, which is on the 31st of July, high of 41.198, uh, 41,198. Let's go to the S&P, same thing, S&P. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is very interesting. S&P. Yeah, I'll talk about it as soon as I return. I'll be back. I was a chapter down, down 38, S&P down 1. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Let me just get to a question that came in about FSL offers, Solar Inc. <clears throat> it's been on my list for a while, only in that it should be one of those that really participates very well if the whole thing with solar comes back in vogue. It keeps going in and out, in and out. But I think it's really the technical level of profits, etc., that it's, it's, it's ailing this company. <clears throat> so it's trading at 226.43. I see it in a rectangle formation. If it made the pattern, you see this little pattern of low lows and low highs, and then it suddenly stalls. Um, let's just go back here. Look at this pattern in the E-mini. That we were looking, look, that looks exactly the same. But you've got to come out of it very strongly. And this is what happened. Look, the nine period moving average went positive, but you had price movement with it. At first, it was a little tentative. It looks almost the same pattern. Then it broke to the upside, and it's been green even to this moment where it's gone from, uh, we were talking about it as if it was an entry at 42, 55, 42. And right now it's at 55.69. <clears throat> so that's what, for over 40 points? Uh, yeah, and that's what you want to see in, in first solar. Look, it's, it's messing around, messing around. The nine period moving average went positive. You haven't yet, well, as a month, I'm looking at a one minute chart, now I'm looking at the daily, but patterns are patterns, they repeat over and over. It's, it's a fractal of human nature. So this is peak A, this is now peak B, gray A. Gray B, why is it gray? I haven't changed the color, but think of it as gray meaning. <coughs> I haven't got the price movement. You've got the 9 over the 14. You've got the MACD good. You've got the relative strength good. You've got the stochastic at 84%. On balance volume is not giving you that trigger to the upside. However, <coughs> the 9 period moving average in the weekly chart with all the movement to the downside still is very positive. So what I'm going to suggest to you is... <coughs> Excuse me, you only asked me about it. I'm going to make the suggestion that I get a sip of tea so that my throat can keep going. That um, at 224.97, down 4.61, it's not great. But the way I look at this is that 
at any point, if it closes above 242, it's broken out from all the resistances. Because that last resistance right there on the uh, 11th of August is 240.96. So you want to be above that. So I'm saying 241.80, 242.20, anywhere in that range. So if you're interested, now I can't remember if you said that you started a position. Ew. I think you were just asking about it. Uh, my thoughts. Okay, these are my thoughts. My thoughts are that this is its opportunity to move to the upside because the technicals are still good. I don't like rectangles that break out of to the base and don't very quickly then go above the halfway marker. It's right there now, 225.11, and then push towards the upper boundary, and that's that level that just under 240. So I'm just saying I would do this. Obviously, it's on your list because you asked me about it. I would then, I would then look to it to say, oh, you, oh, you had it and you sold it at 331. Fantastic. That's oh, I like to hear that. Very good. So then you have a much better feel for this because I've, I don't think we've ever been in. First, I've spoken about it a lot. Never been, or we might have been for a brief period. Then I'm going to say to you, because it's back on your list and it made a low of 195.27. So that's actually $30 above that. Oh, that's that's not bad. It's about uh, 12, 13%. All right. I'm going to suggest nibble. Start your position here at 224.58. And it's real simple. Why? Because if it starts to trade under 218, and that's only uh, five, six points away to the downside. That's just negative. It just says it's going to stay in the rectangle a lot longer. But if by Tuesday of next Tuesday afternoon to Wednesday morning, it's actually pushed above, I prefer to say that it's closed above the high of 233.09, which is 100 points away from where you sold it. If it can do that, that starts a leg C. And that really helps the weekly chart because you can see so far the day is young. But this is a Chapman Wave, very small green inverted Chapman Wave Roman candle. So at any point next week, if this thing on any day, I'm going to give it not usually I say intraday, but on any day, this can get to 229.31. Two, nope, I'm sorry. It can, co can close above 229 on any day then I think you've made a really decent turn. You've got a pretty substantial shorter-term low, and then you can go from there. So nibble right here. Where would my stop be? Just for the moment, I'd have to give it a five-point, maybe even a six-point stop, but I would tighten up as soon as it can get back. The high today is 229.97. It's a long way to go. It's, it's kind of the out-of-favor group right now. But you want to see by the end of the day become in favor. Hope that, that hope that helps you. But don't get carried away. I'd start the position, and I'd rather add to it on strength. Okay. Next question is, um, where, 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 where? Oh, Baba. Yeah. So I I don't see anything from GT in my emails, but I'm going to do this right now. I like to look at the FXI for him. That's the uh, this is the iShares China Large Cap ETF, leg B, leg C, very strong move, nice gap to the upside after it was being decimated just a week and a half ago down the 24s. It's now at 26, 28, 25, sorry, um, peak A. Yes, this is the kind of turnaround I like to see, A, B, C. All right, with that said, um, where would I like to uh, see it move over the next few days if I, if I was long? I'm not. Uh, seven, on the 18th of July, it made a high of uh, 20, 20, 26 point 43 and it's at 26.25. If it can close in this leg C above that level, that's going to be very good. So let's just watch it. Had a gap up today, and we're going to watch it very closely. All right, let's go on. We want to look at, um, okay, here we go. Uh, Amazon, leg B to the upside, trying to fill the gap. That's a huge gap. That was a disappointment, and a very move down to the 150s. It's at 178.14. Uh, this is a work in progress. They're very easy to do. We'll just draw this in right here. Chapman wave. 
falling axe formation, expanding, declining, expanding cone, uh, getting to the resistance. The resistance next week that it has to tackle and then break above will be 182. 180, 184 is trading at 178 right now, um, up 40 cents. It needs to get to that 184 to say, I have legs. And at this particular point, it is a really good move from the low. Let's go to Apple. Apple is in leg. Ooh, what is that? Why did I call that a C? That can't be a C. Oh, that's left over from something else. It's a stray C. Anybody looking for a stray C? Um, it's a leg A to the upside and the line for moving average cross positive and it's breaking above the Chapman wave falling axe resistance level right there. Falling axe formation, expanding, declining cone. Very nice. Now it means the left side of 2 2 Oh, yeah, this is acting much, much better. I'll be back. Puzzle Chapman, Tiger Munitions out. Dial's down, 50. SP is unchanged. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Hi folks, so, just to continue, I was asked if I would just continue with this uh, to show how it would work. <clears throat> this is now another, uh, this is a grey leg B, yeah, peak B that is, in the one minute chart, it's digesting gains. Uh, we'll see if the, uh, this is a peak E in the five minute chart, a real peak E. Um, <clears throat> what happens next is that you take in time, not price, to digest the gains and if there's going to be another move, in other words, if there's even a chance that this could become uh, a two-click session with one click down, way down that uh, in the 5540s, 5, and then you don't have to do anything until late in the afternoon or even sometimes at the close, who knows, um, <clears throat> then you want to follow this and see that there's at least um, in the 10-minute chart, maybe takes a little longer, makes a peak A here, you want to see a leg B. And that B, or even the C, needs to tackle, and it has to be done, I'd say, in the next, at, at 11.30, right, 11.30, uh, one right now, I would say, without taking out 55.65 support, 55.61 is the 200 period moving average, without taking that out, you want to see a move that takes out the 55.65, 74 level. So this is now the big digester phase, um, and you've got to be prepared for that. Most importantly, the 9 over the 14 in the 5-minute chart is still very, very positive, but it's going to get a test. You've got the 1-minute chart digesting big gains here, um, a little bit bigger than the last one that was made at just after 10 o'clock. And that used up time and, and a little bit of price. This using up time, and for the first time, the nine period moving average has gone pink in the one minute chart. So if you're interested in these techniques, uh, give me a yell. Maybe uh, one of these days I'll do a live sh live uh, trading show. Oh, and then I was asked, uh, do I have the same thing for gold? Yeah, look, gold, 10 minute chart, went to a peak G. It had an instant restart, but because it was the nine period moving average was so strong, you can just keep up the count in alphabetical sequentially, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's never an H in the Chapman Wave methodology. There's your G, and now it's, no, it hasn't gone. It's in a red plus sign, but it hasn't turned negative by seeing the nine period moving average turn negative in the 10, but it has in the five. So yeah, this is, yeah, it's the same technique, just using different uh, a symbol that you're looking at. Let's see where that is right now. Should be trying to find some support. Whoops. Plus sign over there. Let's go to. Yeah, so for the portfolio, we added a gold stock the other day. Uh, pleased that we did. Uh, it's not so fantastic. It's it was a, a stock that was doing really well, and I just liked it. And this it came off the our, our point that we got on the dip yesterday, so it's doing quite nicely. But we are a little late to the game. We had this earlier, and then we got out and haven't gotten back in. So, um, yeah, it's part of a portfolio. I've got financials, we've got brokerage, we've got uh, um, uh, in the healthcare. I just wanted to be everywhere and I wanted to be in uh, all different price ranges. So we have some that, uh, yeah, we've got in the gambling area, uh, we've got in the infrastructure. I've got a little call coming out here. Let me just see. Is that for me? No, it's not for me. Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. We go back to our story. We're looking, you remember, we're looking at uh, Apple, Amazon. Let's go to Microsoft. So Microsoft is trading down three at 417.86. There's this inside track repellent zone. So you see these green and uh, red rectangles here. This is how I get the, from the midpoint, the plumb line, to the, from the left side to the right side, number of bars up to the number of bars down. That's how we get some of these prices. The 385 low at 6, uh, 385.68 .6, had a pretty nice rally to 418 right now. I think that it's stalling. I think Microsoft, they, this is what's so fascinating about this particular move. And let me just go to the SLX, which is the, the steel. Yeah, see, even the steel, you think that rotating, you're going to the cyclicals. It's going into certain cyclicals. But yes, the Van Eck, Van Eck Vector Steel ETF, kind of stalling. So I'm just saying to you, Microsoft, and we're along from 338 round number low, 
Now, our entry point had nice trades in between. Now, I'm just kind of watching it, expecting that this digestive phase is going to last a little while longer. What's fascinating is that the AI ETF, which is the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF, has had a fantastic move. Uh, it's gone, well, we've been long for quite a long time, but it's gone all the way to 37.18 on the 11th of July, pulls back to 30 point, let me just give you that exact number, pulls back to 30.78, I think it was, what was it, 30.85, 30.85, 30 wow, 30.85, and I've said that we might add to it, um, but I didn't, you know, you got so much money uh, and you can only do so many things so i decided we would go to new positions because i wanted to spread out our portfolio into areas that i thought would be even more attractive uh, than some of the ones that uh, rather than adding to the ones that have been very good this one actually would have been great going from 30.85 to 35.12 i mean five five point gain that's really nice so it's inner leg gray leg a um, almost about to say it could be a buy signal to buy mode um, in this kind of move. And look at peak sin. I said there's something wrong with this chart. It's one of the few times that we've got a Chapman wave a failure at a peak C at an all-time high. And it just it happens, but so rarely. I'm say I mean I really it is rare, but it was. And I said everything about it said with a silent doji candle. At, uh, just before the high of 37.18, I think that we're making some kind of a like. It looks like a peak D. I think there's going to be a sharp pullback. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes out the 31.34 low on the left side, which was the April low. And lo and behold, it did. So there's your peak C minus. So now we have to start a very fresh leg A to the upside. Wow. This is just the AI, the intelligence, AI intelligence ETF, artificial intelligence ETF single leg A, it's just the start of a new move to the upside that portends a lot higher prices. Anyway, it is a leg C in the monthly chart. We'll see what happens. The day is young, as I like to say. And let's just, let's just go about this in a very methodical way and say that the nine period, look how sharply the price pulled back in the weekly chart, and yet that nine period moving average, the, uh, the tool of last resort, did not fail. It held as like a springboard like a trampoline, boom, Olympic Games, sprint to the upside, even tackle the candle of three weeks ago, where it started to really tank to the downside. And that was at 35.18 in today's highs, 35.13. Not bad for three weeks work, going from the 35s down to the 30 and back to 35s. I'd call that a very good rebound. I'll be back in a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. So looking at our one minute chart of the E-mini, look at that 200 period moving average. Look how it was absolute building support support in the 55-55 level. And then it ran all the way to that level of 5.5. Um, seven, what was it, 70, I believe it was, 70 point something, five, five, seventy-one, seventy-five, and then it pulled back, went pink, this is the one minute chart, went pink, and now it's testing again the 200 period, it's a rising 200 period moving average, that's usually a good sign, but it is um, the MACD's week, Stochastic's week, On Balance Ron's week, Relative Strength is week, <clears throat> and yet, we're watching to see, can it push higher can it break this chap with inside track resistance that's the p channel parallel channel coming down can it break it to the upside can it get to 55 65 to 55 67 that'll be important to say yep that's a springboard look at the five minute chart think of it as a daily weekly monthly and the five minute chart nine period moving average is still way over the 14 the 200 period moving average magnet of 5561 is still holding there um <clears throat> That's going to be very important. Does it break down or does it move higher? That one minute, the five, ten minute chart, single leg A to the upside, peak A, pulling back. It's going to be really important because if it takes a tumble, it won't be a one, two click session, having gone uh, 40 points higher from the uh, that 42 entry point, uh, 30 points higher. Is it right? Yeah, uh, it'll be a failure pattern because that nine period moving average will then go pink. So this is a very important phase right now. My suspicion is after all the buying that's happened, there's a digestive phase that's happening in a couple of uh, manners within sectors and time sequences, and that we're now in this digestive phase that says you've had the buyers come in, <clears throat> you've had the weakness, then you've had the buyers come in, you've got the sellers, and now we're going to see who wins for the next hour, and you'll only know if there's a break below 55, I'd say 55, 54, um, or a push above 55, 66, 67, somewhere in that area. So we'll see. All right, let's keep going. So a question came in. Um, 
So this is uh, AIQ doing very, very nicely. As I say, real long from the way down. And it's, it's, it's nice because it's in the artificial intelligence area. But I, I would say to you, after all that we've heard for the last year, just hour after hour, day after day, week after week, AI, 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 Microsoft trading down 262, not being in the 438, 440 area, but here in the 418s. AIQ, yes, it's a great move to the upside, but not being at all-time highs in the 30, not 37 area, but in the 41, 42, says to me, the whole thing with AI is a work in progress. And therefore, you've got to take it, I wouldn't say uh, you can't take it seriously, you've got to take it seriously, but you've got to put the words in the in the background, look at the price of, of what you of, of what you're following, and you'll see that it's it's going to take time. In some areas it'll be quicker, in some areas it'll be slower. But it is a, it's time consuming to get it right, and we'll only know maybe March or so of next year to get a real feel for what it's implying job wise, etc. Next thing I want to look at here is did I have a question? Yeah, uh, Goog. I always look at Goog. I don't look at the trading G O O G L. I look at Goog, and that is trading at just to refresh here. Um, 166.73. Um, up 3.58. Yeah, there's another thing. <clears throat> Everyone says, "Oh, Google's the one that they're going to be the beneficiaries." Maybe so, but actually, look, going from 193 down to the 150s, and now it's trading at 166. Point uh, sixty-seven. I just started a leg B. That's a struggle. That's not that impressive. So all I'm saying to you is that <clears throat> do your homework. Each each stock individually. I think you have to look at and do the analysis. Look at Meta. Something different there. Meta is uh, almost at all-time highs. It's down today, down eight at five twenty-eight. But wow, look at that. Uh, a high that was made five thirty was the high back in March or April. Pulls back sharply to the four thirties, uh, I think it was. Then it goes to a slightly higher high, uh, five thirty something, five thirty. In the week of the twelfth of of March, no, sorry, seventh uh, July, it goes to five forty two point eighty one. And look at this, it goes all the way back down. That uh, Monday, no, no, it's even earlier than that. That was back on on the 25th. It goes to 4:42, and here it is up at 5:40. Uh, what it hit five, almost 5:40 the other day. Was that a round number high? 5:39.97. Uh, no. Ah, oh, there we are. Now we're getting that pullback in the uh, in the uh, one minute chart and the five minute chart, and that's going to impact. Yep, there it is, right through the 200 period moving average. I don't think this is going to be a two-click session. So and that's the reason why when I had that phantom peak, I always say that's where you want to take something off because other things can happen there. And it very often still goes to the D. So let's see what happens after this. A very nice move to the upside, now pulling back quite sharply. Um, all right, so we were, we were looking at we're looking at Meta. This is a, a leg C, maybe a peak C. It should still go higher. And this is going to be a range that the 530 range, 533, 550, 535, I think that's going to be a range of uh, a kind of a digestive phase for Meta. Leg C in the monthly chart, very, very nice action. Most importantly, what we're looking at is uh, within the context of uh, the pattern, uh, it took a little time. Yeah, so I have to use to see when when you oh, it's a technical Friday. So let me show you. Look, you got yourself a cup formation right here, and it goes up. What I would do is from the plumb line low, the number of bars on the left to the number of back to the number of bars on the right. Can you do this? That that low that was made takes us to look right here. There's your plumb line right right there. So that takes you to, whoops, just misses on the right. So I always say, okay, well, that worked. It missed by a day or two, but it got almost to the right level. What happens very often is that there's a pullback, and then there's a little like a, a cup and handle formation, and then the handle.
takes you to a higher level. So I'm expecting a leg D, could even be an E, that goes above the high that was made on the 8th of July in matter of 542.82, 1.01 above. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, so this is the question here. Yeah, you see this peak E in the five minute chart, you see the nine period moving average hasn't yet turned pink, it certainly is very close, but uh, we're going to see what happens, and then the, that'll start to impact the 10 minutes. So this is the way I like to do it, um, using the uh, just basic, very simple tools right here, and we'll see what happens. The day is young. If at any point it can get to 55, 68, that's going to be positive. If it breaks under 55, 51, I'd say, you know what, done for the day. Uh, in the meantime, back at the ranch, let's do and hand you over to uh, Steve Rhodes. Let's just look at this very quickly. The Dow, everything so far in the um, uh, in the daily chart is very positive. It's gone to a leg B. It should try to uh, maybe make a big B, a peak B Monday or Tuesday, but it should move and push to a higher high. It's in a buy signal, very close to. I wait for have to wait for the end of the day a buy mode. The weekly chart is holding very nicely above the nine period moving average. The S and P. The S&P at this particular point is down uh, 9 at 55.33. Uh, it Did it make a new 55.48.54? I can't remember now. 58.46. Yes, it's gone to a leg B. 
extended today, and that's important. So, yeah, it's still an upward trajectory. The nine period moving average did cross positive. I'm suspecting that we're going to, it's when we get to the, the Ds in the uh, Dow and the S&P, that's where we have to become careful again. I don't know. We're going to all-time highs. We're just going to follow the trajectory. I can put in an up arrow here, but um, I don't have anything to say that it's in a buy mode yet because the stochastic is at 77%. I'd like it to go to 88%. The QQQ is pulling back. It's down a dollar at 473. And this is only a leg B. And the ARC, uh, IWM, the Russell 2000, is in a leg B and is starting to improve, but the nine hasn't gone above the 40. I'm going to say have a great day. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. As I say, we've got some really nice buys, uh, good percentage gains, and all different price ranges. Single digits, think about it. Have a